What we're going to do is show you what the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool can do. There's many different uses that you can do with the tool itself, and we're going to give you a breakdown on a couple, a few boards to show you exactly what the tool can do. Now, if you zoom in close and get a shot of this board, typically, a, I mean, there's thousands of homes out there that have paneling. You might have them in a basement, might be upstairs, and you look at it, it's dark, it's dingy, and people look at it and go, yeah, I just don't like that paneling. What do we do? Do we rip it out, re-drywall the whole room? You don't have to do this. So what we did is we took this board, we got paneling that runs all the way across on both sides. We even put a sheet of drywall right through the center to kind of make it a little bit harder to cover. And so what we did is we taped over these lines, taped over the drywall and the edge, and retextured it with the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool. And if you look, if you zoom in, look how beautiful that finish is. And we didn't have to take the paneling down and re-drywall it. And you can do this yourself. This tool is designed to where the average person or anybody can use this tool and texture it. Now, just to show you the back side of it, that we didn't use drywall on one side. Here's the paneling, 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 and drywall runs right through the center. And there's the front side. Look how nice that looks. Now we're going to go to the bathroom next. Now, a lot of people redo bathrooms and kitchens. Greg and I have done uh, construction for over 30 years. We've rehabbed a lot of houses. And typically what we do is go in the kitchen, bathroom, especially on the walls to make them look good. We retexture them and paint them. Now in the bathrooms, we really like using tile on the walls. It gives it a nice look. It kind of uh, just picks up the tile around the shower, sometimes the vanity. So when they do that, you end up getting a lot of scuff marks on the drywall. You're going to get mastic. You're going to get some of the grout on it. Typically what people do is just paint it. Now you got this beautiful tile and you got an unfinished wall. So what we do is we take the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool, retexture that area, covers up all the scuff marks, all the nicks, and then what you can do with this and get really kind of fun with it is take some paint and do a little bit of faux painting. So what we did is took the color in the tile and kind of ran it through the texture and it finishes the room up. So beautifies it and this is something you can do yourself. Now, take this. Now the next one, Everybody runs into this. When you're in a house and you get a hole in it, uh, a doorknob, um, sometimes a hammer, you throw something, and what happens is it uh, leaves holes in the wall, so you end up having to patch it. Now, if you look at this side right here, it has a, a, a light texture on it, and then when you patch the hole, it leaves a smooth area. So when you sand it and paint it, you're still going to see these scuff marks on the wall. So what we did is, the holes that you see here, we put over here. So there's a hole here, a hole here, a patch on these areas. We put in the same locations on the other side. The difference is, we covered it with the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool. Now, if you go over this, there is a light finish with knockdown. So we covered the patches and the old texture. You can't see any of it. So what it does, it takes a problem area in your house. Okay, I paint the walls, they look better. But what do I do with all these patches? Texture over it. Now you got a, uh, walls that look like they're brand new. Now, I'll show you the back side of this. So you can see, I put a hammer hole here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. The reason I did that is so you can see the back side that we did put a hole on both sides because when you look at this side, you're not going to see the patches because the texture tool covered them up. Now, this is, you see a lot. When we rehabbed houses, Greg and I would catch this on almost every house, the popcorn ceiling. You get up there and sometimes people try to paint it. Sometimes they try to take it down. It might get a little wet and it falls down. It's some of the ugliest textures I've ever seen. So what people look at is like, what do I do with this thing? We actually have a video on our website. It shows you how to take this off. But on our sample board, we textured the whole board with popcorn. And what we did was take this half of it off, left the popcorn on this side, and then we textured it with the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool. So this area over here, you can see with the new finish, 
you can see the old popcorn finish. Look how nice this looks. You would love to have this in your home. And you could do this yourself. Now, <clears throat> if you ever had a situation in your house, restoration co companies do this, where they come in where they have a, a flood or a fire, but especially a, a water damage. Drywall soaks up water, and it can start getting mold in it immediately. So what they do is they'll come in and cut the lower section of the drywall out. So then they'll come in with the new piece of drywall on the bottom. Now, if you get a close-up of this, this is the existing texture that's on the wall. So when they cut this section out and put a new piece in right here, this is smooth, this has texture on it. Each texture tool, like if you got knockdown or orange peel, it's going to have a slightly different finish. So it's going to be really tough to match the new texture with the old texture. So what we do is we take the Easy Texture Pro Drywall Texture Tool, and we use this to go right over the smooth, right over the existing finish, and it blends in where you can't see where one stops and one starts. So for restoration companies, this is a great tool to use to be able to get that wall looking like it's brand new again. And then the homeowner, he looks at it and goes, man, I love that finish. It looks better than what I had before. Now, this is a full board. And what this is, is we started with just a clean sheet of drywall. And we use the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool to texture over it. So this gives you a bigger picture of what the texture looks like. It's a beautiful finish. You don't have to bring a professional in and spend thousands of dollars. You can do this yourself. A lot of painters use this because when they go into a house and somebody wants to repaint the walls, they say, well, look, if I retexture over it, I can cover up a lot of those scuff marks and it's just going to make it look a lot better. So a lot of painters use this tool to retexture. Greg and I, every house that we rehab, first thing we did, we would go in there and retexture the walls. Before we came up with the Easy Texture Pro Drywall Texture Tool, you talk about nightmares. Everybody does everything to these houses. So most of the time, we'd have to skim coat the walls, power sand them, and then put a finish on there. Nobody had a texture tool that could go over an old finish that would work. We came up with one. It's the Easy Texture Pro Drywall Texture Tool. And just look at the beautiful finish it leaves on the wall. Okay, what you're looking at here is a fresh new sheet of drywall. Now, what we're going to do with this, and you can see where, you know, the screw holes were covered up. A lot of them will be tape joints covered up. This is ready to be textured. What we're going to do is we're going to take the Easy Texture Pro Drywall Texture Tool and show you how easy it is to texture that wall yourself. Right. Here we go, and rolling. Okay, we're going to show you how easy it is to texture this sheet of drywall with the Easy Texture Pro Drywall Texture Tool. But first, I want to show you a few choices. Uh, this is Greg. Now, Greg and I have rehabbed houses. Come on over here, Greg, so you can see it. Greg and I have rehabbed houses together for a long time. We've, I've been in construction 30 years. Greg's been in construction 30 years. I've done a lot of the um, um, new construction, selling, and also building. Greg's done a lot of carpentry work. Um, he worked with me for years. When the construction industry took a huge collapse, Greg and I started rehabbing some houses. Now, we talked about it earlier, where we go into a house and run into all kinds of situations where people spray knock down, they, they take out walls, put this. Okay, we're gonna show you how easy it is to texture this sheet of drywall with the Easy Texture Pro Drywall Texture Tool. But first, I wanna show you a few choices. Uh, this is Greg. Now, Greg and I have rehabbed houses Come on over here, Greg, so you can see it. Greg and I have rehabbed houses together for a long time. We've, I've been in construction 30 years. Greg's been in construction 30 years. I've done a lot of the um, um, new construction, selling, and also building. Greg's done a lot of carpentry work. Um, he worked with me for years. When the construction industry took a huge collapse, Greg and I started rehabbing some houses. Now, we talked about it earlier, where we go into a house and run into all kinds of situations where people spray knock down, they, they take out walls, put this, take the popcorn down halfway. So we were trying to find an easier way before we paint to fix those walls up. Typically, we'd have to go in, skim coat the walls, power sand it, put a new finish on it. So we said, this something's got to be easier. It just took too much time and effort and money. So we went out 
and said, let's see what's available in a hand tool that we can use and do this ourselves." This is a crow's foot. Now this crow's foot's been around, I think since the 50s and 60s. So we said, well, let's try this. It put probably one of the lousiest finishes I've ever seen on a wall. Now if you go through all that work to prepare a drywall surface like this, to texture it before you paint it, I ain't putting this on there. So we basically looked at this and said, maybe we can use it for a hat. I don't know. <laughs> so we looked at another one they have called a stapling brush. It's just a round brush. Put it on there, twist it around. It's got a place here for the handle here and here. It looked terrible. So we said, well, we can't use that thing. Throw that away. So we looked at, well, let's see. Well, not the spray can. Here's a roller. Now, the roller has like little wires running through it. Looks like a paint roller. You put it in a drywall mud, roll it on, or put drywall mud on there and roll this thing on. It looked like cottage cheese. We didn't like that either. So we basically said, maybe we'll have to bring in a professional, but it was very aggravating when that happened. So what we did, I kind of came up with this idea um, that might work. It's kind of like painting a wall with a, with a roller, or I mean a brush. If you paint it with a roller, it's a lot quicker. So we came up with this texture tool that would actually work and be more efficient. And we tested it on some of the houses that we worked on. So we're going to take the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool. You just get a regular handle that you would use painting the wall and you screw that in. Now, this is what really makes it come together. This is a plastic applicator and this is really cool. All you got to do is wrap it right around the top. And you take the clip and that clips it on there securely. It's that quick and easy. Now, if you look at the top of the tool, this is a special foam we use. And when we're putting it on the wall, it gives a little bit of a spring to it. So it kind of bounces off. What the plastic does, when you put it in a bucket of drywall mud, the mud will stick to the plastic. When you put it on the wall, it kind of pulls it back off the wall. That's what makes it work. Now what we're looking at right here is a typical bucket of drywall mud. Now this is a 60 pound bucket, joint compound. You don't thin the mud out. You basically take the lid off, there's a little bit of water on top, you stir it, and you're going to use it the way it is. You don't have to mix water into it, you don't have to do anything special. Now, a lot of people use the spray can. Now the spray can covers, if you're going to do knockdown, it's going to cover basically 60 square feet. If you use the orange peel, about 80 square feet. Now that's real thin finish. It's not going to have that thicker texture look to it like ours does. When you thin the mud out, the mud's thinner. When you go thicker, you can cover up like orange peel knockdown, and it'll blend right in with the texture. So all you do is take the lid off, take your texture drywall, Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool, dip it in a bucket of drywall mud, and you will see the mud sticking to the plastic. Then you go up to the drywall board and you just take it, hit it, pull it back. And I'm pretty fast at this, so you'll see me going quick. Now typically, when drywall is on the wall, it's secure, it's screwed down, it's not gonna move. So Greg's holding the sheet of drywall so it doesn't fall down. Now to save a little time, I'm just going to texture half of the board. Now you can go thick with the texture or you can go a little thinner. It just depends on what you prefer and how you like to have the room look. You can see it doesn't take long at all to put the texture on it. Now, you go across, what you want to do is basically cover the whole area, don't leave any smooth spots. And then you just take it, kind of touch it up, make sure you got all the areas covered. And keep in mind, if there was orange peel or knockdown behind this, this would actually cover it up and blend in with the texture. Now what Greg's going to do is take the Lexon blade. Now this Lexon blade is smooth plastic. Typically, what you're going to see people using is a metal blade. You use a metal blade on this and it'll leave lines on it when you're pulling it down. So you don't want to use a metal blade. You want to use soft plastic. The Lexon blade works great for this. 
a lot of your commercial contractors, that's what, this use, that's what they use. You go into your home supply stores, you won't find this. It's basically commercial suppliers <clears throat> are the only ones that are going to carry it. So Greg's going to show you what you do in knocking it down. A little bit of pressure, pull it straight down. Now look how it's spreading the mud out. See how nice that looks? Look how easy that is. Now, I've never, I'm not a professional drywall texturer. Every time we prepared the walls, we had to bring contractors in to put a finish on the wall. An existing house, you can't use knockdown because you're going to spray it all over the place. You've got to take casings up, windows, baseboards. There's a, a lot of work involved to be able to spray the knockdown. This, well, we don't even have a tarp down here. You can put a tarp down and it doesn't leave the mess because the drywall mud sticks to the applicator. So it's an easy process. Look how beautiful that finish is. You just imagine that in your house and you can do this yourself. Now that you see how quick and easy it is to use the Easy Texture Pro drywall texture tool, the one thing that's nice about this is you can take the full four foot handle. Now, if you're in a tight space, just show you this real quick. Now, here it is. If you're in a tight space, where you don't have a lot of room behind you, you're in a hallway, what we do is just cut the four foot handle in, in half and that way I can work in bathrooms, uh, hallways, and tight spots where I can get the handle to go right behind me. Then the other thing we do is this. If you're in a situation where you're in a, uh, a bathroom and you got a vanity and a mirror, a toilet, a TV hanging on the wall, what you do is you just take the handle off, wrap this around, put the clip on it, then all you're going to do is take the tool and just go around those tight areas. This is why it's shaped rectangular. In a house, you've got corners, you've got cabinets, you've got all kinds of things and angles. This fits into the corners real easy. And if you get around a bathroom of vanity, you just take it off, wrap it with the applicator, drip it in drywall mud, and do it by hand. You can get around those tight spots. Then you don't need the big Lexon blade. You just take a plastic putty knife, and it'll spread the mud out. We show this on our video on our website. Uh, we show you how to take popcorn down. We show you how to patch holes in the wall. We just got a 15 minute video that shows you exactly how to texture uh, a complete wall and how to patch holes and how to make the house look like brand new and you do it yourself. A typical house, say a thousand square feet with say popcorn on the ceiling. If you're gonna bring a contractor in to take that down, they're gonna charge you $1.50 to $2.50 a square foot. Then you got to texture it. That could be another $1.50 to $2.50 a square foot. So a thousand square foot house, you may pay a contractor up to $3,000 just to remove the popcorn and then texture it themselves. You can do this yourself, take as much time as you want and texture it yourself, take the popcorn down and then paint it and end up with a finish like this. Got to do a house, pull furniture away from one wall, texture it. The next day, paint it, move the furniture back. One of the things you do, and it's real simple and easy. All right, it's right here. Once you have textured the wall and you're gonna get ready to paint it, when it dries, you'll feel just a little bit of maybe tips and stuff on it. You might want it perfectly smooth. You might like it that way. You don't have to sand it. Get the sponge a little bit wet and you just lightly go over it until it has the feel you like. It's water-based joint compound so you don't want to get it real wet because it will wipe off you just go over it once it has the smoothest consistency you like you're ready to paint it's that easy you can texture your walls like a professional do it yourself if you have any questions you can actually call me my phone number is 941-626-5518 i can give you even more information go to our website you can order the texture tool the lexon blade all the equipment you would need the tool is only $14.95. Now, we just talked about how much it would cost to bring a contractor in. That is very inexpensive. Lexon blades, inexpensive. We can make those available so you can do the complete project yourself, save thousands of dollars. So go to our website. It's easytexturepro.com. I'm Gary. This is Greg. We would love to uh, see you doing this yourself. Thanks for listening.